Enter unlock password to enter yacht router setup. Click on setup in upper right corner. And now click on mobile to enter mobile connection setup. In a mobile setup page, you will enter all necessary settings for your mobile connection. First, you can change name of your mobile connection. This name is just for easier managing. I will call it, my SIM card. If your SIM card is equipped with PIN number, you can enter it here. We strongly recommend that you remove pin protection on any SIM card that you plan to use with the Yacht Router. The easiest way to remove pin, is to insert SIM card into your phone, and disable pin number. You cannot remove pin from inside Yacht Router. If you start mobile connection with wrong pin number three times in a row, your SIM card will be locked. To unlock it, you will have to enter it into your phone, and unlock with PUK number. Ok, as PIN number on my SIM card is disabled, I will insert SIM card in lower slot in my Yacht Router. Now, I will click on Reload SIM card, to initiate connection. Each time, when you insert SIM card you will have to use this button. Reloading SIM card can take up to 30 seconds. You will see please wait message in upper left corner. You have to wait until message disappear. Once Yacht Router is connected to mobile network you will see notification. Here you can see that Yacht Router is connected to Tele2 provider using 4G technology. Each mobile provider use APN to establish connection. APN is short for access point name. It is sometimes used in combination with username and password. Yacht Router will offer you to automatically set APN, based on your SIM card. You will see message that Auto APN is available. Click on Apply to set APN. Now, click on More Options to get more settings. Here you can see which APN is set for SIM card that I am using. If you want to set router to use 4G, 3G, or 2G instead of automatic switching you can set it here. You can enable roaming if you plan to use your SIM card in roaming. Keep Alive feature will monitor your internet availability. If internet is not available for 2 minutes, it will restart connection. I suggest you not to use this feature in roaming. When SIM card is in roaming it sometimes takes more than 2 minutes for connection so router could be in permanent connection reset loop. If you need more details about your current connection, click here. Here you can see different details about signal strength, pin status, current operator, IMEI, and IMSI number. IMEI number is your yacht router identification. It is sometimes asked by mobile provider. Now, I will close connection details and more options menu. If you click on advanced button you will get some more information and features. On advanced section, you can see your current network details. And on the right side you can see traffic details. You can display traffic details in megabytes, kilobytes, or gigabytes. You can also reset counter, and enable counter auto reset on each first day of every month. I will now close advanced menu, and click on home button to return back to home page. Last thing I need to do is to set my vessel network to use my mobile connection as internet source. Now, I can lock my yacht router or just close a software and it will lock automatically.